Geographical information systems are a combination of hardware and software. Today, GIS is one of a number of what we call geospatial technologies. So it includes also remote sensing, digital image processing. Uh, it would include internet mapping, mobile GIS, and using unmanned airborne vehicles. We have students in geography, geology, forestry, mathematics. We've had planning students, geomatics, engineering, so pretty well all walks of life where GIS is, is a useful pathway to a career once they graduate from the master's programme. Before I came here, I was working with the oil and gas company in Ghana. I've done an undergraduate degree at the University of Essex in marine biology. I really saw the need for GIS in the job that I do. I chose Aberdeen University because uh, it's very reputable for research work and then um, academic standards are very high. I wanted to go work into the environment sector. I realised most of the jobs I wanted involved some form of GIS, so the idea was to just get as many technical skills as I could. We try really at any opportunity to involve external people in the work that the students do, so we like to involve them with uh, companies. We also have a, a farm project with Knock Farm near Huntley. We also do a number of site visits, so we um, take students to the James Hutton Institute to see the work that they do on visualisation. We also visit the Aberdeen Harbour Board because they have a, a visualisation suite in their, their tower. And the final place is in the Current Issues module, where we have invited speakers in who talk about GIS, remote sensing, mapping projects, uh, with all sorts of different applications. We support the degree programme by offering practical actual demonstrations and practical in the sense that the, the actual students can get hands on with the actual devices themselves. The students become very, are very enthusiastic. In fact, we, we have some who have actually followed it up and we've been able to support them with some of their, their ongoing projects. In the last five years we've been uh, working on the use of UAVs or unmanned airborne vehicles. So we now have a course called UAV uh, Remote Sensing, Monitoring and Mapping. And we have a whole fleet of UAVs. So we're actually going to utilise these in class and then they'll be able to collect their uh, data for some of the, the projects and go out and fly their own aerial imagery, create 3D models of, of features with the imagery and then utilise that imagery in image processing software to extract information. Yeah, once I graduate, uh, I'll go back to work for my company because I'm currently on steady leave. And then uh, I'm going to apply every bit of things that I picked up from here. Mainly I'd like to work in marine biology, doing some GIS in a lab, some surveying, marine surveying. Although even with my course mates we've discussed maybe starting our own business. There's lots of different options and there's something that GIS can give you.